Are you born from Sri Lanka? Greetings, bon dia. Obrigado por me convidar. Thank you for inviting me to the 2022 Planet Year World Gathering, especially to the founder, Sergio Ribeiro. Congratulations for organizing the largest meeting on innovation and sustainable entrepreneurship. I will talk about integrated solutions to two major issues that humanity faces, sustainable development and climate change. We are striving to achieve sustainability in the 21st century, including economic prosperity, social progress, and environmental protection. PWG will lead us to the Balanced Inclusive Green Growth, BIGG path. We are all connected together on one planet. PWG will unite us to move forward together. Vamos en frente juntos. Balanced inclusive green growth, integrating climate change policies into sustainable development strategy. Which key issues threaten human well-being? We have poverty, inequality, resource shortages, financial sector collapse, disasters, including pandemics, conflicts, weak leadership, and of course, climate change, which is the ultimate threat multiplier. These threats are interrelated and synergistic. Unfortunately, stakeholder interests are, di are divergent. And the 7 billion people on this planet are uncoordinated in their responses. The global leadership is weak. People must push leaders to take more decisive action. I will focus on an integrated and comprehensive strategy needed to achieve 21st century Earth eco-civilization. What are the key concepts to move forward together? Addressing complex, interrelated sustainable development issues using the sustainomics framework to find the balanced inclusive green growth path, BIGG. This sustainomics framework was presented at the 1992 Rio Earth Summit over 30 years ago, and it has been taught and applied widely worldwide. It will facilitate implementation of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. The first core concept is to harmonize the Sustainable Development Triangle for balance and integration. We need economic prosperity to raise the poor out of poverty, but we also need to protect the environment, and we need social empowerment, governance, and inclusion. And any subject like sustainability or climate change can be analyzed in terms of those three dimensions. The second core concept is climb the mountain. We need empowerment, action, and foresight. Sustainable development is like a mountain peak that is covered with clouds. It's a bit mysterious to us all. But if we climb uphill one step at a time, eventually we'll reach the top because we know what to do. When we leave this room, we can switch off the light, we can turn off a tap, we can plant a tree, we can do things at the company level, like corporate social responsibility, at the city level, at the national level, and so on. The third core concept is to transcend boundaries in our own mind. We need innovation and pressure in this. Firstly, we need to replace unsustainable and unethical values. Greed, selfishness, and violence are out. We need and self-respect, uh, selflessness, respecting people and nature, those good values. We need stakeholders to work together. We need to think in terms of multiple disciplines, not only economics or physics or chemistry, all of them. We need to think in terms of global scales, which we are doing at PWG. We think in terms of centuries, not years or months as you are doing at PWG. This is how we get together. We need the implementation triangle, which is business and civil society working together, pushing governments to do the right thing because governments are less capable every day of solving these problems. Business is certainly not the problem. It is a key part of the solution and we must work with government to strengthen in leadership and to protect the sustainable development space. What are the urgent changes that are needed to restore the present unsustainable global system? 
if you look on the vertical axis, we have climate risk. This is per capita greenhouse gas emissions. On the horizontal <coughs> axis, we have development level, which is per capita income. If you are poor, you have low emission, but you have also low GDP. If you are rich, you have emissions above the safe limit, very high, but you are also rich, and many other countries are in the middle. The triangle here is unbalanced. We need to bring it into balance. So the first step is called green growth to balance economy and environment. And for the rich countries, it is a question of using win-win solutions to reduce environmental resource use while increasing their output. So they can still have a very good life, but they can reduce the burden on the environment along this path. For the other countries, there is a tunnel path, which is called the Green Growth Tunnel. And Sri Lanka and other countries are trying to follow this path. But what we are doing is we are not following the wasteful path of the rich. We are using new technologies to follow such a tunnel path so that uh, we can also reach the same sustainable point. And finally, we include the social side. We make pro-poor inclusive green growth paths, which also balances economy, environment, and society. And this model not only works for greenhouse gas emissions, but also for food, water, and energy. So that is how you achieve balanced, inclusive green growth. Now, if you look at sustainable consumption, you will see application of this, that here is a rich family which is consuming a lot of food in a week. Fine, they can consume the same amount, but with less packaging and less waste so that they can continue on this path. Here is a poor family which is consuming very little. They have to be raised out of poverty along this path, but they can achieve the same this point eventually if they follow the tunnel. Sustainable production is also a key element of this. I've worked with the senior management and boards of the biggest companies in the world. They all agree that sustainability and triple bottom line is the wave of the future. Sustainability and resource efficiency is win-win, which I mentioned, which is you produce more, use less resources using better technology. So you reduce the burden on the environment, but you can also increase your profits because your costs are less. And of course, ethical values are the key to long-term sustainability. And all these companies that I've worked with, from chemicals, supermarkets, oil and gas, biotech, mining, and so on, all agree that this is the way of the future. And also BIGG tells us to focus on you. It is not just learned lectures that will reach the youth. It is also music and the arts. And in Rio in 2012, we formed Sustainable Musica for the music of sustainability. And we are reaching millions of young people through this approach. Planeteers will guide us to BIGG and the 21st century eco-civilization, where we focus on gross national happiness, not just gross national product. And digital technology will be actually very helpful to do this because it's part of the, uh, SDG 9, and it's also linked to all these others. SDGs will be the framework to implement BIGG, but it has to be tailored to each country. Now, let's talk briefly about climate change. IPCC said that it is human emissions that have caused the problem. In the future, it will cause great and irreversible harm, especially to the poor. This is a climate injustice because the poor had the least to do with creating the problem. The solution is to integrate climate change policies into sustainable development strategy so that we can solve all the problems together. 
and the IPCC got the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize for showing exactly that climate and sustainable development are linked and should be integrated solutions. And you can make decision makers in each country see that climate change will impact sectors like agriculture and energy and transport and urban. So as soon as the Minister of Agriculture sees that his output is going to be affected 10 years from now, he will take climate change seriously. So this is the way to integrate climate change into sustainable development strategy. Portugal can lead us to the sustainable development and earth eco civilization. You have the economic, social, and environmental resources to do this. You're super connected because you can use organizations and platforms like PWG and Planeteers to build South, North, and East, West partnerships. In Sri Lanka, I have started a process. I was chairman of the Presidential Expert Committee, which prepared a report called Sustainable Sri Lanka 2030 Vision. And there we talked about an economy that is prosperous and competitive, an environment that is green and flourishing, a society that is inclusive, harmonious, peaceful, and just, following the BIGG path, that is our 2030 vision. But watch out for potential surprises. There's climate change, there's pandemics, economic crises, technological disruption. There can be social unrest and conflicts. But innovative thinking will build resilience against shocks in a dynamically changing world. Remember, we are moving rapidly towards a new multipolar world, using peaceful trade and eco economic cooperation for mutual benefit using multiple centers like BRICS, the BRI, G77, Non-Aligned Movement, the Global South, and others. Multiple global currencies, not only the US dollar, but also the Chinese world and others. They are replacing the old unipolar world, which was US-led, using NATO and military might, basically, to sanction and one global currency. And this transition can cause a lot of shocks, but we can uh, develop resilience. So my optimistic final message for Portugal and the world, multiple global problems create a serious challenge, but they can be addressed together with integrated approaches. Sustainomics and BIGG show us the way forward, and especially climate and sustainable development must be solved together. We must improve governance systems. We need business and civil society to work with government to solve the problem. Planeteers in Portugal can lead the way forward in devising the 21st century path for sustainable development. PWG is indeed where sustainability is happening. This is the ancient blessing from Sri Lanka which says environment, may the rains come in time, economic, may the harvest be bountiful, social, may the people be happy and contented, may the king be righteous. So my ancestors many hundreds of years ago knew about the sustainable development triangle. I'm just trying to rediscover it now. I come from the Munasinga Institute for Development. Please contact me. We have a lot of additional information. Uh, and I will be very glad to share it with us. Stuti, obrigado, thank you very much.